Spare Contemporary is an art exhibition and competition which takes place every two years. And we do a, a national call across the country to artists to submit work which reflects contemporary South African concerns. An exercise like this, which is uh, about calling for artists rather than nominating artists, what you're hoping for is to see a bunch of things which you didn't expect. One of the Africa Centre's primary objectives in attracting audiences to the Spear Contemporary 2010 is to communicate the message that art is open for all. Spear Contemporary is an extraordinary art event in the country. It places its finger on a pulse of the way artists are thinking about the nation right now. Okay. Race is one of those major concepts. It represents, I think, uh, because of the open call, a range of different, not just a, a range of media, but artists that come from a variety of different backgrounds and cultural influences and political leanings and ideologies and ways of looking at the world. One of the strongest features about Spear Contemporary is working with the visual arts in a, in, in, in a very broad way, which includes a variety of new media, as I've spoken about, but also performance. I saw the first Spear Contemporary in 2007, and I was very curious to see the second edition, knowing that it will be in a completely different environment. The fact that it's in this historical building, in the city centre, and how the artworks were going to resonate with this heavy colonial architecture and that what kind of dialogue was going to be uh, created. So it was another challenge for the team and it was interesting for me to witness that. I think the interest that I find in, in identity is that it's, it's such a complex thing and it's something that you negotiate every single day. Even though I'm an African, I'm a Motswana person, I speak speak English and, and basically the space where I live out my life is, is a very Western space. And the second award for the Gonji Creation Center in South Korea goes to Mohao Modisake. The thing that I always say is that, you know, the exhibition and the competition is the gleam and the, you know, uh, and the bling of the Spear Contemporary, but the real work is really the development work that is being done on the ground. The Spear Contemporary doesn't only stop when, you know, the exhibition happens, but it keeps on continuing through developing artists and actually enriching the whole South African Institute of Artists. So we can begin to track how attitudes and ideas change. I think that there are works in here that will move even the most unmovable and the most jaded of people. And for that, I think that the audiences that come here are in for quite a treat and in many respects, quite a meaningful experience. Yeah. 